I am rallying. I am rallying. I am rallying. <laughs> Good morning, super cool party people, and welcome back to day 10 of Vlogmas. I'm back at the theater. I am gassed. Like, I slept well last night, but I woke up right out of a dream, and so we have just started on the wrong foot, and I just want to go back to sleep. Hopefully this won't require a nap later, but who knows? Anyway, for day 10 of Vlogmas, I feel like it's there. Is that better? For day 10 of Vlogmas, I figured I would do the Q&A that nobody has asked for. But in all seriousness, I've realized I don't think I've ever, like, officially introduced myself on my channel. Like, I watch other people's vlogs, and they're like, Hi, my name is Julia, and welcome to my channel. And I'm like, does anyone even know my name here? I hear like weird clicky things over there. Oh, it's probably the heater. Okay, it's fine. Anyway, so, uh, I'm just gonna try to answer them throughout the course of the day. I actually like wrote things down on a list in a notebook because I was like, there's no way I'll remember any of these. I mean, I could have put them in my phone, but you know what? Brain was not doing well last night when I was looking all these up. So I just looked up a bunch of random questions and I stuffed them in a line. <laughs> so first of all, this is not on the Q&A, but if you don't know, hi, my name is Tiffany. Welcome to my channel. I've been mostly daily vlogging for over three years now. I don't even know how that's a thing, but that is a thing. And I decided to do officially Vlogmas this year because, I mean, I daily vlog anyway, so I figured why not just add Christmas music on it and call it Vlogmas. To that end, I realized that, like, working, <laughs> which is what I do, like, I, I am at the theater, I work here, and, you know, trying to vlog full time, real hard. <laughs> then I think about some influencers that I see that are having mental breakdowns, and, like, their job is to do this. Anyway, so I guess I'm just waiting for my mental breakdown. <laughs> I don't know. So, on to the questions. What is my middle name? I actually have two middle names. So my channel name is Tiffany Lynn Caprice. Lynn and Caprice are my middle names. It's also got the initials of TLC, which is pretty cool. I'm gonna go have my breakfast drink now. That was too hard. I'm gonna answer more questions later. <laughs> Alrighty, it has been like, just about an hour and a half and I am proud to say that I'm not at risk of immediately falling comatose but we're not much better I, I thought it would get better it has not gotten better anyway figured what better time than to answer another question so to that end I, I've got my notebook here <laughs> this is like just straight up just says notes and so I put notes in it Favorite high school subject. So I would probably have to say history. I took that, I took history 12 in grade 11. Ooh, fancy. And then I ended up going on to do a history degree. So I think history is um, a safe bet. I don't wanna just like railroad through these questions, but I also wanna make sure that I get them all answered. So the next question, we'll do that one too. It is, what is my favorite drink? I don't drink alcohol, if anybody's wondering. Um, I think I'm pretty sure I've mentioned it before. My favorite drink is, I don't know, I really enjoy water, which is great, but probably like my favorite non, actually, you know what? I, I saw recently that water is not considered a beverage, but is it considered a drink? Anyway, um, <laughs> I probably say Coke because I don't drink coffee. And so if I need a jolt of caffeine, that is great. Although there's a slippery slope with caffeine there for me. I think that's part of the, re like I have not been drinking a lot of caffeine lately. So I think that's part of this. Anyway, should we do one more? Let's do, let's do one more. Current, current favorite song. That is hard. I listen to a lot of music and especially when I'm writing, I tend to listen to the same song over and over and over again. I, I think currently the one that I've been listening to on repeat a lot, I think currently like I just got the Little Mix new album called Confetti, which I have been enjoying, but Bad Cinderella from Andrew Lloyd Webber's Cinderella, which hasn't come out yet, but is, would have if it weren't for COVID. I think they were supposed to open already. This is it here. I have been listening to that quite a bit. So let, let's go with that for now. But honestly, it changes on any given day and I could not tell you what my favorite song is or what my favorite band is. Anyways, I'm gonna go 
keep on trucking. I've, I've had some success this morning, so that's great. I'm so glad that like I have four hours to do my tasks today because it is taking forever. So I'm going to keep on trucking away and I will check in with you once I've, you know, been a little bit more productive. <laughs> Alrighty, it is currently my break town, so I'm just gonna make me some Easy Mac. And I figured while I did that, I could try to answer some more questions. This will likely be the last questions that I answer while I'm at work, because after this I should probably, you know, work harder. <laughs> um, so I'm thinking that I should have put these in order because like I have some groups of favorites and then I have some just random ones in. But the next one on my list is um, children's names. So you probably know I don't have kids. <laughs> but what you might not know is I have no intention of birthing my own children. So if I do have kids in the future, they'll come pre-named <laughs> as in like fostering or adoption. <laughs> just to pick it up as a pre-named kid. Anyway, so yeah, that's that. If I have children, future children, they'll have a name. However, like, the more likely thing to happen before that, I ain't ready for that, is puppies. I really, really just want puppies. Um, all of them. Uh, but honestly, so like, for years and years and years, I was like, oh, I'm gonna have a husky, and I had a dream that I had a husky puppy named Rush. I'm gonna have a big mutt named Junkyard, and I'll call him Jai Jai for short. And then I want like a really pretentious, pompous dog, and his name was gonna be Chilo Huffington the Third. I thought these things out, but <laughs> things have changed. And after like getting to know Strudel so much over the last few years, and just like it, it turns out that I love retrievers. She's part retriever, if you didn't know. She's part retriever, Aussie Shepherd, and um, Poodle. And I just, I really, I've been like feeling a retriever lately. So I think I'm gonna eventually get a retriever, I think, or a retriever cross of some site, sort, some sort. And um, I have no idea what I would name that dog. We've moved because I didn't want to stand anymore and the lighting was bad over there because there was a shadow and now the lighting is just bad over here in general. Uh, sports I've played. Um, so organized sports, I played soccer. I think I played volleyball at some point. And I did competitive hip hop. Who is she? Oh, and once upon a time, I did Highland Dance. So Highland Dance, gymnastics when I was really little, hip hop, soccer, and volleyball. I feel like there might be another sport. I don't know. Anyways, that was what we did. And now we've got into a list of favorites. Ooh, can I like quickly get these off? I think I have 20 seconds. Favorite book, Lord of the Rings, specifically the first half of Two Towers. It's amazing. Favorite food, French fries, any anything potato pretty much. Uh, but I do love spaghetti. Favorite color, we know that because I dyed my hair green, but I also really like pink. Favorite animal, I'd want to say like something exotic, but honestly, it's pretty much just puppies. Ah, there goes the timer. Alrighty, so I'm in the car with my mom's boyfriend. He is just popping into Canadian Tire to look for a bow to go on the front of his truck and on my mom's car. And we've just been doing shopping for my mom, specifically like her stocking and um, actual big present. Like, I feel confident now <laughs> in knowing that He's good if he wants to add more stuff onto it, we're good. But I figure while I wait for him to come back, let's answer another question. <laughs> I also unplugged my mic pack because I didn't want to find it in my bag. Um, favorite animals, last one we got. Favorite perfume, I don't really have one. I really liked Gwen Stefani's G of the Sea when it was out and it came in like a mermaid bottle, but mostly just like citrusy scents because I can't do floral scents, it kills me. Favorite holiday, um, I don't know if I really have one. Um, I like seeing people. That's really any holiday where I can see people and there aren't restrictions. That'd be great right now. Language is spoken. I speak English. Je parle français. Nihongo gakseidas. No, that's wrong. I'm not a Japanese student. Um, what is it? Nihongo no ikimas. I don't know. Anyways, I speak some Japanese. I can understand a little bit of Spanish. Russian used to be a thing. Um, ya govori poruski izik. Um, but really, French and English are my two languages. A uh, favorite TV show. Okay, I wrote these down last night, and then I like got out of bed and wrote down more because I was like, oh my god, no. So Brooklyn Nine Nine, I love. I watch that every night. I fall asleep to fall asleep because like I just 
need to fall asleep watching something or listening to something I've seen a million times. So Brooklyn Nine-Nine, Psych. Oh, if you have not seen Psych, it's amazing. It's about a guy who's like hyper observant and pretends to be a psychic in order to not get arrested and then works with the police. Uh, Covert Affairs and White Collar, I really enjoyed. And then Gallivant, it's so good. I wish there was more than two seasons. It's on Netflix, at least in Canada. If you haven't checked it out, it is a musical TV show that knows it's a musical TV show and it's it's amazing. And then the only reality show I watch, as you'll know, is Survivor. If you've been around, you know I am super into Survivor. I watch Survivor way too much. So that's my guilty pleasure. I'm getting I'm getting down on the list. I'm on the second page. I think I'm gonna stop answering questions for now. So again I don't just blast through them and I will check in with you probably once I get home. I think we have maybe one or two more stops to do and then we're gonna grab some lunch on the way home. Make sure my mom gets fed before she goes to work and yeah. Alrighty other than the few things that I want to craft which is probably start on today and I think one more gift card I want to buy. I'm done my Christmas shopping and gifting situation. That's pretty exciting also. Do you like it? <laughs> my mom's boyfriend and I were in the dollar store and we saw this and he's like, I have to work Christmas. I want to get one of those. And then well, I was like, well, mom would like one. And then we're like, let's just all get them. <laughs> so my mom went upstairs to get changed for work and we both just put them on and we're just sitting there like nothing was a mess. <laughs> Anyways, they're fun. I like it. It's, it's cute. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll wear it to work myself. Although with my headphones on, I don't know how <laughs> successful this would be. Let's see, can we do it? We can do it. <laughs> okay, but let's get these back on because they are, they're definitely the most fun. So I need to clean my room. <laughs> And I, I have a half a mind to answer questions while I do so, but there's also a lot of gifts over there <laughs> that I can't, that I can't with. So I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, let's answer a question. I don't have many more left. Height. I am 5'6". Good job, me. <laughs> My birthday is July 21st, which makes me a cancer. And let's see, let's do this one. What is one thing I would change about me? And like my initial reaction to that is, and I, this is not me having initial reaction because obviously I wrote this down last night, is just my motivation to exercise and work out. Like I really wish that I could, you know, be better at that. <laughs> But then I was like, you know, I have like, you know, I have like weird sensory issues. Like that would be great if I could also not have those. Cause like the, the oratory ones aren't too, too bad because normally I can just like put on my headphones and we're fine. But the touch ones are the worst. Like some fabrics just get me and textures and food. That is the absolute, absolute worst. So yeah, I mean, either that <laughs> or motivation to work out. One of my goals for 2021 I just put to get ripped. <laughs> so we'll see. Maybe we'll get that. Anyways, that's a couple more. I don't have too many left, but I think I'm going to, I gotta clean my room. And then I think I should assess what I need to do for crafting purposes and kind of, kind of go from there. Oh, also before I go, I got the card from Blind Channel and it is so cute. These are like all the people I work with and the puppies. Oh my God, Strudel and Millie. Ah, oh, I love them all so much. I'm gonna go, I should probably fill up my own Christmas cards because I do have to send some. And um, I'll be back at some point. I might still be wearing this because I am a fan. I'm sorry for the lighting here. I know it is not the best, Woo! but that's just the lighting in the house um, down here. So first of all, I wanna start off with, I've learned and embraced recently the oversized clothing um, situation. However, I've also learned that it does not look flattering at all on me. I am wearing a pair of sweatpants that are like probably two sizes too big for me. And yes, they are so comfy, so I'm going to continue to wear them. But I look so frumpy. I look so frumpy. Anyway, it is what it is. Why am I down here? Why do I have lights on my head? And why is this tree half lit? All those questions can be answered with the fact that my mom's boyfriend has this ability to make absolutely everything eight million times harder than it has to be. For example, putting up the Christmas lights. He's currently gone to the store because one of the strands was broken. That is not his fault. However, 
when you, when you string lights on a Christmas tree, do you start from the bottom so you put the plug on the right side where it's supposed to go? Or do you start from the top and just YOLO it? Well, I think we can figure out what happened here. But like, even so I was like trying to fix it and he had like two male ends plugged into each other over here, which screwed everything up going down. And then he had like three plugged in over there. Why? So what I'm gonna do while he's out quickly is I'm gonna restring it because I know if I don't do it, my mom will probably do it, especially because like down at the bottom here, you can see it's like super low and like crammed over to try to reach the plug. So I'm gonna fix it real quick here. And um, so interim break from the, uh, the Q and A. Okay, so that like seriously took two seconds and now look, it's so much better. We just have to get the top part going and then that can hook up to the angel if there is an angel. So that's good, that is done. And while I'm down here, I have the notebook. So let's ask a question. Top travel destinations. I decided to go with top three because I figured two wasn't enough and um, three, three is a good number. So. If you've been here since back in like January and February, you might remember, I'm pretty sure I mentioned it, that I was hoping to go away for a trip for like three to four weeks in October, November time. <laughs> oh, the goals and dreams we had at the beginning of the year. So I was planning on either going to Japan because I was like, I wanna get better at my Japanese and there's no better way than to immerse yourself in the culture. And like, that's how I learned French. I went to French immersion and it was super easy. Or Australia because I have friends and family there. And so I was torn between the two. I couldn't decide, but I had on my goal board to book my tickets by April. So glad I waited. Didn't have to fight to get any money back or cancel any tickets. So yeah, so Japan or Australia. And then also 2020, a long time ago, my friend and I met in 2010. So it's our 10 year friend anniversary and we want to go to Santorini to celebrate that in 2020. So top three that I'd love to go to, but perhaps another day <laughs> or like an another year. I'm super close. It's cool. I am super warm because like on top of these sweatpants being super oversized, they're also super thick and like <laughs> anytime I'm doing anything in them, I just start to sweat, which is like a great problem to have. Oh no. And we're starting again. <laughs> I am super sweaty because on top of these sweatpants being like oversized, they are also so thick. And so the moment I start to do anything, especially like if I'm wearing these thick plush slippers I have, I just start to sweat like a beast. Like the first day, yeah, like the first day I put them on, it was the day that I decided to finish my pajama shorts because I was dying. I'm trying to get my sock off without using my hands and it's going nowhere fast. So yeah, I mean, basically, I mean, this isn't part of the Q&A and I like intend to have like talk, I don't know, like part of me is like, talk about it. The other part of me is like, don't talk about it. So like I decided like, I've been feeling very frump about my appearance for like the last couple months because life has been very sedentary and I'm like, oh, gross. <laughs> Sometimes when I look in the mirror, not all the times, other times I'm like, damn. Um, and so I was like, let's do the oversized trend because like, I feel like I'll feel like more covered up or whatever. The problem I find is like, yeah, I need to lose a couple pounds, but for, m for myself, for health, like we should do that. Um, but I have a large chest and so anything that goes on here just hangs and then it's so much worse. Um, and I got a booty, so anything that goes just hangs. But anyways, we'll work on that. Like I said earlier, my 20, one of my 2021 goals is to get ripped. <laughs> and so we're gonna work towards that um, by trying to be more motivated to exercise. Anyways, I guess we're up here. We can answer one more question. If money were no option, what would I do all day? Well, I would write, 100%, I would write. If I could like write and like have an income and not worry about money, I would write and I would just be like, oh, my phone's ringing, oh, one second. <laughs> Hello? Hey, you. Hey. Hey, where did you find these lights? It's the Christmas lights again. Where was I even? I wanna get jacked. Oh, I was gonna answer a question. <laughs> um, money were no option. That's the question I was on. So. 
basically, I would write. I would love to write. And then like if money wasn't an option, just give away my books for free or, or publish them myself. That makes way more sense. Just publish them myself. Just be like, you don't, I don't want to query. I'll just publish these myself. So that is what I would do. I would travel and I'd probably like live remotely, like in the bushes on a lake, something like that. I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to go. I haven't been super, I haven't been super productive. I've got, no, I haven't. I, I cleaned up the floor. I need to fold my clothes. So I'm going to roll into folding my clothes now. And then, oh geez. Oh, I need to invoice. Oh my goodness. What time is it? Okay. It's only 6.30. So I'm going to fold my clothes here quickly. And then probably do a little bit of puttering, have to send an email, all that fun stuff. So I'm going to do those things and I will check in with you. I only have three more questions. So let's, uh, let's see, let's see how fur, how, how fur, how much further we get. Oh, I'm just going to go. How lazy am I? Like my camera is still on the tripod and so I've just jammed it between me and my desk. It is what it is. So after my last clip, my mom's boyfriend came home and he brought me a McDonald's gift card for being so helpful and helping out. <laughs> do I feel bad for sassing him really hard about the uh, Christmas tree lights now? No. And I would do it to his face 100%. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, he's just for like helping with the lights because like the phone call I got was I don't know where did I find the lights? Where are the lights? And then like I helped him uh, shopping for uh, my mom's Christmas present and stocking and everything today. So that was very nice, unexpected, super nice. The tree is lit up. My mom is decorating it right now. I had to come up and work, um, but I did get the angel up on top. And I think like that's one of the, the special things. I finished the lights and put the angel up. So I'll show you at some point. It just won't be today because it's like 10 o'clock and I, I don't want to go back downstairs. <laughs> but I, but I figured like, what, 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 I should finish off these questions because I think I'm probably gonna go to sleep soon. So, um, current favorite YouTubers is one of my questions and I'm really only answering this because there's been a couple people that I've been watching recently that two of them are probably people that I like drop everything to watch and then another one I'm like getting to the invested point but not 100% there yet. My battery's about to die rude. So the first YouTuber is Tara Michelle. I'm pretty sure that's what her name is. Maybe it's I am Tara Michelle. Anyways, she's a Canadian who has been in LA for like the last seven years. And because of COVID, she decided to come back and be in Toronto so she can be closer to her family. And now she's like going through a life crisis of, do I just want to move back here and sell my place? <laughs> um, and I'm enjoying it. The saga. Um, but the other two are ones that I will like 100% drop what I'm doing and be like, okay, I'm watching this now. So the, they're, they're both former van lifers who have now bought cabins in the woods that they are fixing up, which is just like goals. <laughs> um, the first one is Hannah Lee Duggan. I believe she is, I want to say Minnesota or Missouri. It's a state that starts with an M and she was van lifing and then she bought like 15 acres with two cabins on it. I just love watching her get the cabin set up and ready to go. It's fun. She has a great personality. So like, check her out. I'll try to remember to link these down below. And then the other one are two more Canadians, Eamon and Beck, same situation. They were over in Africa with their first van build when everything started to shut down. And so they parked their van, they packed their bags, they got on a plane and came home. Then they built another van <laughs> and then the borders shut down. And so they're like, let's just buy a cabin. So same situation. They bought a cabin. It's on a lake um, in northernish Ontario, I think. And they're just fixing it up, getting it ready for the winter. And it's super great. I'm really enjoying watching that. I like, I could not find my <laughs> list for a second. There's too much stuff on my desk. The second to last question is relationship status. Does anybody care? Um, Basically, when I wrote down the question, I wrote number 19, which I think we're beyond now because I've added some in between, and I just wrote single. <laughs> um, single, mingling, maybe got some things in the works, who knows? Maybe next time I answer this question, it'll be different, who knows? Um, and then the last question, the final question, number 20 or like 25, whatever the heck it is, is ideal place to live, straight up in a cabin, in the woods, on a lake, 100%. And it's not just, or on the ocean even, but I like, I really like lakes. I don't really like salt water much. So, I mean, I love working remote. 
I work in remote locations. I've done it for three years at Blind Channel and I previously did it for two summers at a different location and it's just, there's just something special and something different about it and like the water and then the mist going through the trees, just like life goals. So that'd be my ideal place to live right now. That's where I'm at. So yeah, anyways, that's my Q&A that nobody asked for. If you got this far, hey, you the real MVP, who am I? Um, and I'm just gonna go now and probably get ready for bed. I have one more day of work this week, which is amazing. Yeah, knocking everything off the table. It is that amazing. And then I'm just gonna, I don't know what I'm gonna do this weekend, but sleep in, 100% sleep in, because this morning was not great. Anyways, I'm just going to keep rambling if I keep holding this camera. So with that, I'm going to say make sure you subscribe. Oh, oh. <laughs> and thanks so much for coming along today. I will see you tomorrow when we do very similar things. <laughs> Good night.